Hi, you guys. My name is Jorge Corona. I'm an engineer, designer, developer, and IT manager. I've been doing IT for the last 15 years, and I created IT folder for IT professionals, managers, MSPs who want to know as much as they can from their IT information that they have. So to do that, I need to connect to various sources. And once you connect to various sources and fill this out, you're going to have your budget. So what does the budget consist of? A budget consists of expenses, licensing, services, subscription, projects, compensation. When you start filling everything out, you're going to go and deal with compliance. So what am I talking about in terms of compliance? Compliance is patches, warranty, encryption, backup, antivirus, and agent. Here it says missing patches. There's two. I click on this. It's going to bring a new window, and it's going to show me these two assets, they're not compliant. They're missing patches. This information was either from Microsoft or I manually uploaded a spreadsheet once a month, once a week. And this is a view of what to expect for almost all the views, which is you can, you can filter this, you can sort this over here. You can go and add columns, remove columns, change the records per page. And if you refresh this, it will be sticky, which means it will be persistent and it will save where you're at. And this is very customizable. There's even a, a grid view. And one thing to note here is that this left hand pane is not customizable, it's fixed, but these views are very customizable. And this is a little different than what you normally would expect for a couple of reasons. So let me give you this example of Meraki. You connect to Meraki, it pulls in your data and your subnets. You're like, okay, that's interesting, but it also does a couple of things extra, which is it checks the ports to see if that port is open. And it creates a network diagram. So if you go to diagrams, there'll be a network diagram for the entire diagram and for each of the networks. So let's pick one. This is automatically generated by Meraki. If you don't have Meraki, that's okay. You can manually make a diagram or an org chart. But this is why it's different if you use the connector, right? Because it automatically does that for you. So let's quickly talk about documents. So documents, they're like any other document except we use Markdown. And one thing to note here is that within Meta, all documents and assets really can have tags and a folder. So you can have as many tags as you want to. They're all searchable. You can add a tag quickly just by typing it in here. So maybe here we want to type in October. There's no tag for October. We hit enter. Now there is. Hit update. Now we can search for October. And these documents, they're a little special because I am using AI. So what does that mean? That means if I were to do a search for, let's say, password, I'd hit enter. It will find anything that has the word password in it, which is good. But actually, I want to do a intelligence search, which is using AI. Now the results are a little better because it's going to find the most relevant item, which is going to be a document, to that query, which is password here. So I can quickly jump to this and view that article. So that's AI and how we're using it. The other thing that's really nice is procedures. So here we can go click on this onboarding and we can see, okay, this is where I'm at and I can share this link with somebody and it'll look like this here. And that's very convenient to have a link to share and you can reorganize, you can edit this, reorganize this however you want to organize it. And again, this is all marked down. So let's continue on. We have security. So here in this key manager, we manage not only user names and passwords, but also important things like database, VPN, email, SSL certificate. And you notice that there's a little lock icon. That means that this field is hybrid encrypted. So that means if I were to edit this here, this password is locked down, it's encrypted. I click on it, it decrypts it on the fly. One thing to know about security is that your data is isolated in its own database with its own encryption key. Data is encrypted at rest and in transit, and those keys are rotated often. So 
So that's key manager. And the last thing I want to talk about is just this domain management. So you can quickly add any domain. It doesn't matter what it is. We can just put it in here and it'll automatically get that information for you. You hit add and not only does it go and add that for you, but I'm going and I'm checking the ports and I'm seeing, hey, what port is open? And then I'm checking the certificates. Does it have a certificate? If it does, it'll add it for you. So I'm doing extra steps after the fact. So this is how IT folder is a little bit different because we use AI and we're doing extra steps after we get that data to sync up to your assets. So that's IT folder in a nutshell. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.